do this to me? What about our plan to go away next weekend? You can't just break it off like this. It's just not working out. But you profiled that you were looking for a long-term relationship. And do you consider it three week long term? You're a filthy liar. An asshole. You use me. I'll have you know that I'm quite the catch, eh? Guys are tripping over themselves just to be with me. You're a filthy liar. So um, I was actually talking to my sister the other day and she kind of convinced me to join this website. Apparently internet dating isn't just for the socially retarded anymore. <laughs> I don't know, Jen. I've given up all hope on these sites. Guys chat you up until you agree to hang out with them. And if you put out, they never call you again. And if you don't put out, well, they never call you again. Yeah. It's a lose-lose -lose situation. Yeah, I know, and I'll keep that in mind. It's just been so long since Dave and I broke up and I haven't actually got back into the dating game. Don't really know how. Just go out to the bar and show some skin. You'll pick up guys for sure. Yeah. Those kind of guys can be better than internet guys. I mean, I'm not looking for a one night fling. It's time for me to find someone real, you know? <laughs> oh, someone real like this? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, his mustache is pretty cool and all. But I'm sure he smells mm -hmm. like grandma's purse. <laughs> See what I mean, Jen? Don't waste your time on these junkie sites. Actually, I've been chatting up with this guy, and he seems really nice. He invited me up to his family cottage this weekend. Of course, I haven't actually said yes yet. I was actually going to see what you thought first. I don't know, Jen. Well, let me see his profile. Yeah, he's right there in my inbox. Which one? This one? Yeah. His name is Brian. He's really cool. Him? Yeah. Who does he think he is inviting some stranger to his cottage? Look, Kelly, I think you're overreacting. Overreacting? This guy doesn't even know you and he's asking you to come out to his secluded cottage in the woods where he can get you alone and you do God what? knows what to you. Never mind. Never mind! I should have known you create some crazy drama like you always do. That's why you can't keep the men around for more than any length of time yourself. If you go out there, you're gonna regret it. I'm just jealous. Yo, Brian. Off to the cottage after all, huh? Does that mean uh, you got a pretty young thing lined up for the weekend? <laughs> oh man, you know me way too well. Let me guess. An internet chick? Is there any other kind? Let's cheers to that. Cheers, man. Mm. Let me help you out. So, uh, <clears throat> she have any uh, good looking friends? Maybe you could... No. I don't... don't think so. Not even. I got it. You wouldn't like to wheel them on yourself? You don't need a wingman to help you out? Yeah. Something like that. Wow. Alright, have a good one. Hey, look, I just wanted to apologize for what I said the other day. I really didn't mean it, and I'm sorry. I'm going to go with Brian for the weekend. I know you're worried about me, but you have nothing to worry about. He's a nice guy. And just for peace of mind, I emailed you the address with the directions to his property. I'll call you when I get back on Sunday night. Bye. Well, the night gets old, so I'm back again. The day just started. I'm uh, 
I'm really glad we decided to come. Yeah? Yeah. It'll be fun, I promise. At first I was a little overwhelmed that you asked me to go away for an entire weekend on our first date. Well, first technical date. I mean, how many hours did we spend texting each other back and forth? I don't know. I feel like I, feel like I know you pretty well by now. Yeah, you're right. It's going to be great. <laughs> Yeah, I guess I am. Just want to keep take this all taken care of, start the fire, and you know, do cottage stuff. <laughs> wow, what a beautiful cottage! Thanks. I've been coming here for like ever. Oh yeah? Yeah, my parents uh, my parents left it to me when they passed away a few years ago. I try to come up as much as possible. I'm sorry to hear that. Don't be. Death is just a part of life, right? Yeah, I guess so. Such a beautiful view. So quiet and serene. Yeah. It's a nice break from the big city. Nobody around for miles. Wow, Brian, that was really good. <laughs> Thanks. I have to be honest about something. Shoot. So, I was actually going to make up this big elaborate story about having to babysit my nephew for the weekend to avoid coming in. Really? Why? I don't know, it's just... When I told this friend of mine that I was meeting you up here for the first time in the woods... <laughs> okay. She more or less convinced me that you were some kind of internet serial killer. Well... You'd have been right. <laughs> <laughs> well, since you've figured me out, there's no point in dragging it out anymore. Might as well go on with it. Oh yeah, I mean, why waste any time? <laughs> so I'll go inside, I'll grab my mask and machete. I'll come back in a minute, don't move, okay? <laughs> All right, you do that. <laughs> don't worry, buddy. We're gonna get some. Is everything okay in there? Jeez, Brian, you really know how to move, girl. They're all riled up and set for bed. Brian? Brian? It's not funny anymore. Brian? Brian! Brian!
supposed to be me. This weekend was supposed to be mine. He promised me a fucking campfire. He promised me all of this, not you! I tried to warn you, didn't I? Didn't I? Urgh. Weekend, Brian. Oh, God. You're gonna give it to me. 